Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Tyler here and today I'm bringing you some more EA College Football 25 talk. That's right, we'll be discussing some Road to Glory today. I basically just want to go over some things that I talked about the other day and kind of confirm some of the stuff that I was speculating on. So, not really nothing too new, but basically new based on, you know, what I went over the other day and, you know, kind of just confirming some things that I was, you know, guessing on. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get into it. I'll talk about, you know, all the details we have so far with Road to Glory and then also tying that into like some brainstorming and whatnot, talking about some series ideas, whether it's, you know, the series that I myself will be doing or, you know, some things that, you know, maybe you viewers might want to try on your own at home. So before I get into the basics, I kind of just want to tie up a couple, you know, smaller things here. Well, the first thing isn't too small, but... Anyways, exporting to Madden, we talked about it the other day. It's definitely going to be happening, and it's something that I actually predicted a long time ago. As soon as I saw Madden go back to superstar mode rather than it being, you know, face of the franchise or that long shot BS and whatnot, as soon as I saw it go back to superstar mode, I was like, oh yeah, this means that once this college football game comes back, you know, if it does, which hopefully it would, and, you know, here we are. It's about to be here in a month and a half. Can't wait. <laughs> but either way, I kind of guessed that this would happen and that that was just the reason why they went back to superstar mode in madden so yeah the exporting is there now like i said i already told you all this but basically i think this being a plus is a reason for one of the negatives that i also brought up the other day and that negative being that we are limited to just the five positions man only quarterback running back receiver middle linebacker and corner now i believe this is probably because that's what you can do in superstar mode now had you been more open in superstar mode with more positions there then you'd probably be able to here in road to glory as well which i don't understand the limiting positions man because back in the day i'm talking 15 plus years ago you had more options even in madden i remember i think it was like madden 07 or madden 08 i had a defensive tackle for the indianapolis colts and I was living in like some white marble wild mansion looking thing. I don't know, man. The modes definitely took a lot of steps back over the years. And now hopefully that we have the college football game back. Hopefully that, you know, entices Madden to bring that player mode back to, you know, being a little better. And, you know, like I said, man, it just sucks being limited with the positions. There's still a whole lot that we can do, though. It's just, you know. One of the pluses that you know leads to a negative, but either way, you know, five positions is still solid. It's just there was a couple ideas that I had that I definitely can't do now, and also another idea that I'll mention. I did say a lot about possibly being able to play two ways throughout college rather than just in high school, like you could back in the day. Which, again, confirming you aren't playing in high school. More on that in a sec, but. It's definitely seeming like we're not going to have that two-way option here for the college, even though that's what I was guessing would happen since, you know, we had Travis Hunter on the cover and he plays two ways. And, you know, you see, you know, we've seen over the years guys play two ways. It seems like it's becoming a little more of a thing where you see a few more guys doing it now. But it's, you know, very rare that it'll be done effectively and whatnot. So we'll see, you know, if I end up being right about, you know, my first thoughts on it but now at this point i'm saying that i don't think it'll be in the game i don't think it'll be an option to play both ways unfortunately but one of my ideas was going to be tight end and defensive end or like an edge rusher i was going to you know make a big boy and just have him out there catching passes you know blocking and then on the other side you know coming off the edge getting sacks on the quarterback and whatnot i thought that would have been sweet but not going to be able to do that because a can't play those positions and b most likely not going to be able to have the two-way option but not a huge deal just a couple things that i wanted to go over real quick before i go over you know the rest of the details that we have so far and then also real quick down here at the bottom of this article again i'll link this in the description if you want to read the whole thing yourself but chasing records and rewards um it says you know there will be a robust record keeping system you can go after national conference school records yada yada um, basically the reason I'm bringing this up is because at first I was thinking why the heck do they even feel the need to include this in the article but it makes sense because there's actually a lot of speculation on if a lot of awards would be in this game 
and I think a lot of them aren't going to be in it, but this is basically telling you that they will still have some sort of award system, and then of course, you know, you're going after, you know, records and stuff too, but you'll still have awards that you can get, it's just they probably will either just be generic, you know, best wide receiver, or they'll give it, like, some new name that's not, you know, the actual Fred Bolitnikoff award, you know. But I believe, you know, we'll at least have the Heisman, of course. And, you know, maybe we'll get a couple of the real awards. But I think for the most part, it'll either, A, just say, you know, best you know, position. and Or it'll be, you know, some made up. Not made up, but, you know, they might just use a different player's name that they got to deal with. That they could, you know, make up some award for the game. Which, either way, as long as there's some sort of system for it, I'll take it. And as long as we at least have the real Heisman, that's fine by me. Which we definitely have that. We've seen footage of it already all right so back to the basics man we'll go over the position stuff here in a sec but real quick i did mention the whole thing the other day about the story mode being like a 10 to 20 hour experience now there's you know some questions on if you know that meant you know with gameplay or not i definitely don't think that that's the case that just doesn't even sound realistic i think that that's more so like doing stuff outside of playing the game i think that's you know you know, going through your schedule each week, you know, you're going to have to do different things each day, managing your time and whatnot. So I think that's all that stuff. Or, you know, leading up to it, you might do a lot of different interview sort of things and whatnot. Getting, you know, your player or prospect ready to, you know, sign with a school. So I think, you know, might be some decent stuff leading up to it. And then throughout your career, you know, a lot of different things that you do outside of, you know, actually just playing the games, which as long as the stuff isn't too repetitive, I think it's fine by me as long as, you know, we have something to it. I just hope it's not too, like, repetitive by any means. I hope there's a lot of different, you know, pathways that you can go with this. Now, speaking of pathways, something I speculated on in that video last week was, you know, with the confirmation of no high school, I was basically like, you know, what are you going to do? Just pick what stars you are? You know, and I was kind of just BS and guessing. But that was actually confirmed, I think, later that day. And, yeah, you see here, you know, you can choose to be a 5-star, 4-star, 3-star, 2-star. And, you know, it'll be 79 overall for 5-star, and then 75 for 4, 70 for 3, or 65 for 2. I actually don't mind this that much because if you played the high school and you wanted to, you know, tank, if anything, you could technically try your best to not get as many offers and whatnot and not let your stars get up too much. And, you know, you could play less games. You could edit your schedule in high school and make less games. So that way you couldn't accrue more stats to try to, you know, be a lower recruit. But either way, you would still end up getting, you know, good offers and all that stuff. But either way, you could, you know, you could kind of make the story how you wanted it still, so... I still think it's an L that, you know, the high school thing ain't there, but hopefully they bring it back in, like, future games and whatnot. I'm just letting you know, like, I don't think it's going to, you know, I, I kind of emphasized it last video, but I want to say now, you know, I don't think it's, like, completely, like, killing the mode by any means, and I didn't, wasn't thinking that the other day. It's just, I want to you know, I'm still going to find ways to have tons of fun with this, and I think there's a lot of different ways you could go with this setup as, you know, you start up your career. And then tying that in with the position decision there, you know, you got the five positions and, you know, you'll have an archetype that you choose as well, which will depend on, you know, you'll have different archetypes for each position and then we'll also determine your skill tree, which, you know, the skill tree I'm assuming is going to be like your coach's trust or coach's trust might just be tied into the skill tree. Because back in the day, skill trees was more so just for like the coaches and coordinators and dynasty. So, you, I mean, you still had, like, a skill tree and whatnot. It's just it was designed in a different way back then in Road to Glory. So I think the coach's trust thing will be tied into the skill tree now more so. But, you know, we'll see what it looks like. And, of course, you know, with all the abilities in the game, I think all of that stuff is going to be tied into this, you know, skill tree. And, again, on the abilities, I'll have a video out later in the week discussing those a lot more. And I do want to say on those real quick, with the abilities will some of them be specific to road to glory i think a lot of people kind of overreacted when we heard 80 different abilities but you got to think there's a lot of different positions so you got to have you know some position specific abilities you know of course there will be some that would be good for everybody and whatnot 
but there's definitely gonna be some you know that will be just for linemen or some that'll be just for linebackers or dbs or some that are just for the offensive skilled position players or some just for quarterbacks and whatnot so i'm sure that there might be i'm just guessing here but will there be ability specific to road to glory that would be cool because i think that would be a nice way to you know help with some of the things that i'll be going over here in a minute so i'll tie that in with some more of the discussion that would be hitting here going forward but one last thing about the start of your road to glory it sounds like you'll basically have some sort of interview or questionnaire thing that you answer or some sort of way that you basically find out what's important to you as a recruit kind of like when you're recruiting in dynasty and you know you do different sales pitches you'll basically find out which sales pitches are important to you or not important and then they'll basically probably formulate a list of schools for you based on the answers you give them and you know maybe you'll get different boosts or you'll have better pluses or better chances to start not necessarily right away but just maybe start higher on the depth chart if you know you go to certain schools that actually you know fit what you want and your needs or if you know you pick a school that doesn't fit any of that maybe it'll hurt more and you might start you know lower on the depth chart or you know other things might factor into that so that's some stuff that we'll have to you know look at more when you know i'm sure they'll give us some more road to glory information in the coming weeks or if not you know we'll just dive into it once we get the game some more story about the stars here it sounds like even if you choose five star you're still going to have to win a position battle to get that starting spot which to me is a bit odd like say if you're a five star and you decide to go to like a really low tier school that you know wins you know a couple games a year and you know they need someone at your position badly if you're a five star and you decide to go there you should probably be able to start right away right well either way you'll probably get that position battle quickly if i had to guess but i don't know man it just seems a bit odd to me that you'll still have to win a position battle if you're a five star it would make sense you know if you're going to you know a top tier school that's already got plenty of guys that were four and five stars that have already been there for a couple of years and whatnot but i don't know we'll have to see how that goes but also you know how realistic is it for a five star to go to like one of the lower tier teams that's obviously going to have players lower rated than 79 overall but uh, you know we'll see how that goes uh you know sometimes you know guys that are top prospects they like to go to you know it might be like their local school or a school that their parents went to or something like that you know to start their career you know there's different types of scenarios you can do with your career here so we'll have to you know test those things out once the game comes out or we might get more clarity you know in the coming weeks and then of course it says you know if you're a two star it'll you know have a lot more time to spend and practice before you get on the field which of course that makes sense now if you're a two-star you know at a team like if you're a two-star running back at michigan of course it's going to take a ton of time to you know it might not be till your senior year before you even see some playing time if that or if you're a two-star and you go to a lower tier school i don't know ball state just don't out of max school sorry folks but uh just to an example maybe there if you go as a two-star instead of you know having to grind for all those years and make your way up maybe you'll be able to become a starter in that first season or by your second year who knows i know back in the day you could kind of get your coach trust up pretty quickly and whatnot and get to those position battles pretty fast and make your way up the depth chart which was actually kind of nice because back in the day i don't know if it was just a glitch that i dealt with or not but even when you chose a school that said that you would be you know first second or third string to start you would still end up being fourth or fifth to start so i don't know if that was just a glitch i dealt with like i said so I don't know it'll be something interesting to see we'll have to test those things out once we get the game seeing how you know those position battles work you know based on which star you choose and like how quickly you end up triggering that also depending on if you're at a lower tier school or at one of the top schools and again here it says what i already kind of covered about how you'll pick the important things it says among there's 14 pitches so there's 14 pitches that you basically choose from us so i'm sure there'll probably be like three to five that you pick as important ones and then three to five that are like not important and then the rest will kind of be like mid to where they kind of don't really matter as much so it says here not like the old games you don't have like a dorm room by any means which is fine i'm not too worried about that and if you're wondering that's like like older older games for sure like not even talking until like 14 
we're talking way back in the day. It was, those games were set up much better, man. I'm talking like even race to the Heisman days. That was what it was called before Road to Glory. But anyways, you'll manage different things throughout you know the weeks, and you'll have like a main screen where you'll have a phone basically that pops up different scenarios, and it sounds like you know you'll probably have to manage like your hours each day, whether you're resting or putting your time into these five different areas of focus that they mention. It's academics, leadership, health, training, and brand. Of course, brand will be like the NIL stuff tied in. Now, I'm not sure how deep the NIL stuff will be here or if it will just be more general brand things for this game because there's still a whole lot of questions up in the air with the NIL. Things are just changing rapidly and people are clueless, man. I think it's, you know, we're heading in the right direction with it, but it's definitely been a mess so far and that's you know main reason why it's not in dynasty which i'll also be diving more into dynasty later uh probably next weekend but uh yeah so brand will be you know nil stuff and then also the other ones like i said academics leadership health and training speaking on the academics here we'll go ahead and talk about that so talking about maintaining GPA, a lot of people thought you'd be taking tests in the game like back in the day. You would have like a midterm and then like a final exam. And it would be based off of like a major you would choose. And if you didn't know, you could just choose FBS nicknames as one of your as your major, man. So all you would do is like have questions about, oh, what's Arizona's nickname? Oh, the Razorbacks. That, that's simple. Or it'd be like how many different t- teams have the nickname the Tigers? Like, oh, I don't know, six, seven. Uh, it's different now than it was then, of course, but that's kind of like what I would do. Of course, I was a younger kid back then, where now that I'm older and grown, I could probably actually pick like a real subject there and actually be able to do decent on those tests. Where back then, when I was so much younger, it's like, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm not wasting time with this and I'm not risking, you know, being ineligible. So I just picked the FBS nicknames and those quizzes were super duper easy, man. But it sounds like you're not going to be having to do none of that here. But instead, you're basically going to probably have to just set, like I said, like certain hours each day will have to be set towards each of those five areas of focus that I mentioned. And, you know, academics, like I said, you'll have to keep that GPA up. So maybe, you know, out of the five days of the week, Tuesday and Wednesday, maybe you set some hours towards academics. That way you make sure you aren't failing no classes and becoming ineligible because that can happen. Now, at the same time, maybe that's a story that you want to go for. Who knows? Maybe that's, you know, some brainstorming here. Maybe that's a road to glory soon to come. (laughs) No, that's something I would do later on if I decided to do something like that. But just throwing that out there, you could do something like that where you have some top recruit that goes somewhere and he ends up being a shitbird in the classroom, not getting the job done there, becomes ineligible, then next thing you know, you got to transfer out. Transferring, too, that's another thing I'll talk on a little bit later and then also those abilities that I mentioned could you possibly have a road to glory specific ability to where you put it in the mental aspect because remember you have mental abilities and physical abilities imagine in road to glory you could get a mental ability to where if you have it on you don't have to really spend as much time in the classroom maybe maybe you get that You know, maybe it's like some sort of classroom nerd or something like that. Or, you know, I'm just spitballing here, but maybe that's some sort of ability you can have to where you don't have to spend as many hours in the classroom and you'll still be able to maintain your GPA. And, you know, with the tier system, if you don't know what the ability is, there's like bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. Maybe, you know, if you just have bronze, it doesn't help as much and you still, you know, got to be in the books. Whereas, maybe by your junior year you got that thing platinum and by that point you're so smart you've done almost graduated early or something and what do you know you don't have to even put any time into the classroom no more and don't have to worry about that gpa dropping that would be nice because at that point you're really trying to fine-tune your game and really you know dig deep in your final year or two of college you know before you try to hit the league so at that point you know maybe you're wanting to put more time in your practices and whatnot rather than you know, the academics. So the test, I mean, you will have tests. It's just you're not actually going to be taking them in the game. It's just you have to make sure that you have the study hours in so that you are prepared for those so that way you don't fail them. It also says 
if that happens, you'll have to spend extra time with tutors, which will further set you back elsewhere, of course, because if you're having to spend further time with that, then you're really not going to be able to, you know, do as well in practice and get those boosts and get to those position battles. All of the elements come with potential boosts to your skills trees and academic figure to boost your mental abilities on the field as well. So you see there, the mental abilities do get brought up. So maybe keeping your academics up is just going to help boost your mental abilities. But for some reason, I'm still thinking that I'm right here with my idea of actually having a mental ability specific to your road to glory where you can throw it on and help with these academics. So, I mean, we'll see going forward if that is a thing. Next area of focus is that leadership, man. So they also talk about the position battles in here. So leadership is where you bank coaching trust points. And again, I think this will all be tied into skill trees and everything else with abilities. And again, like you say here, coach trust. So how you get on the field, of course, is how you accrue them. Coach trust points. Allocating time here means getting in the film room and doing necessary football work that's not on-field drills to show your coach and teammates that you are committed. So not always just going to be in practice stuff, which is nice, man, because it makes sense. Film is something that I definitely was always on back in the day when I played in high school, man. I was always watching film, like literally. I would get my homework done early in class, so that way when I wasn't in class or wasn't in practice, I would literally be watching hours of film like almost every night, man. So it would be cool that, you know, you can actually allocate some time to that here in the game, showing, you know, the coach that you're committed, not just on the field but off the field as well. And it says when you get enough coach trust and catch a teammate ahead of you on the depth chart, you'll trigger a position battle, which, you know, that's, of course, we've had a system like that before. The position battles bring back the glorious return of mini games, and you'll have to win a best two out of three against your teammate in that mini game in order to earn that spot. So hopefully these aren't too repetitive, and hopefully they're actually like decently tough to win, depending on you know the situation. Like, of course, if you're at a smaller school and you're going up against a position battle against a guy that's you know a 72 overall, maybe it won't be as hard as if you're at a top tier school and you're battling it out to take over the top spot from a guy that's a 90 overall then that should probably be much tougher so we'll see you know how those mini games work if you win you will gain a big boost of coach trust it says something about plus 1500 for a starting job so yeah it sounds like you'll have to get a lot of points uh to solidify you in that spot for at least a few weeks it says and if you lose you only lose a bit which says minus 100 coach trust for the screen we saw but your teammate gains a bunch and you will have to w wait for another shot okay so that's saying if you lose the position battle then you only lose 100 points but if you win the starting job you get plus 1500 to that coach trust and like it says if you lose you'll still have to wait to get another shot pile up some points again and i like this here and though it's a key element is that your computer teammates are also always earning coach trust so if you start to struggle as the starter, they could catch up to you and trigger position battle from behind and try to, you know, take your spot. So once you get that job, you got to continue to, you know, maintain that stuff. Make sure you keep practicing, keep hitting that film room. Here's the next couple areas of focus here, man, health. Of course, we talked a lot about wear and tear the other day, and that will come into play here. And I also mentioned abilities. You will definitely have some abilities that will help with this. It says here, throughout the season, you will accrue wear and tear on different body parts by taking hits. And when you get too much in one spot, you'll start to lose attribute points for certain skills that are tied to those areas. You'll need to put some hours into recovery in order to stay healthy throughout the season, or else you risk getting hurt and missing time. So that there also is going to tie into your weekly, you know, hours when, you know, each day throughout your schedule. You know, you're probably going to have to have some rest hours as well, or, you know, some training hours or, you know, get in there with the trainer and you know work out you know some of those bumps and bruises that you got and if you don't spend the hours to do that then you'll go into the next game still having those aches and pains and be more or less likely to have that wear and tear be more effective on you where if you're actually spending more time in the training room and getting worked on and getting the recovery 
then you'll actually, you know, be good to go for the games and not have to worry as much about that wear and tear. The next focus thing was training. Again, like I kind of just mentioned there, you know, tying everything in together. Here it says training is practices and on-field work where you gain XP and can boost your ratings and skills trees. The more time you spend here, the faster you'll see that overall rating rise. However, that could come at the expense of something else, and having a great overall won't help you if you aren't able to be on the field for academic reasons, injuries, or a lack of coaching trust. So this is probably basically telling you that you should not be rushing to try to get your overall all the way up early on in your career, which makes sense to me. Uh, definitely probably will probably focus more on that stuff, you know, in the second and third seasons, where the first season, you know, you're just, you know, getting used to the college, getting used to being, you know, wherever you're at. Or, you know, depending on what kind of career you're going for, man, you might be trying to, you know, dive in right away. But, you know, depending on what kind of career you're going for, you know, you might want to, you know, focus more on that training, you know, more in that second and third seasons where, you know, early on you want to, you know, just gain that coach trust the best you can. So that way you can, you know, try to work your way up that depth chart to where your overall will actually matter more. Plus, by that second and third season, you'll have a much more developed skill tree, I would assume, as long as, you know, you're not slacking and, you know, not putting, like, all your time into your studies by any means. But like I brought up earlier, that might be, you know, a sort of, you know, career path you wanted to take where if that option is there to where you can actually graduate early, like I was speculating earlier, I mean, I don't think it'll be a thing, but... If you could do it to where you graduate in three years and then that fourth year you literally don't have to worry about it at all, that would be sweet. And that way, you know, you're just putting everything into training and at that point you're probably 99 overall and just absolutely going crazy out there on the field. But last area of focus here, we'll talk about the brand. And I kind of mentioned that earlier, the NIL portion of Road to Glory. You can sign brand deals to get fans and boost your following. Now, I'm not sure if this following will, you know, help boost your like in-game attributes or what it will actually do so i'm not sure how important this stuff will actually be you see next it says this might seem like the least important thing and the easy section to put off however each brand deal will come with in-game boost like i just said there we go each brand deal will come with in-game boost that will help you out and boosting your following could be important for the portal that's the thing right there the portal baby we got to talk about that some more too here after this but yeah, the example they gave was having a deal with a cryotherapy business that helps you heal faster, requiring fewer points spent on the health section during the week. Okay, so yeah, the brand actually does matter a heck of a lot more than I was even thinking. So certain brands will actually help, not just with boost for attributes, but also for if, you know, you have ailing injuries and stuff. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of different things that you can choose from here, I'm assuming. And, yeah, it's going to be important. So make sure you're not just choosing the certain brand just because of the brand. Make sure you're actually looking at what it actually affects for your player. Again, one of the things that we'll have to be testing out once the game comes out, there's so many different things that are new that we didn't have back in the day that we're just going to have to, you know, figure out as we go. Here with dynamic scenarios, it gives an example of you might be asked to go do something with teammates instead of study and might earn some coaching trust in the leadership category, but if it means you are underprepared for an upcoming test, your GPA might drop and you can be in danger of becoming academically ineligible. These will pop up throughout your career, and the goal is to force you into some choices that aren't obvious with how you're balancing the five main areas, always needing to be at top of mind. So like I said, man, depending on how you want your career to go, you can kind of formulate what kind of path you take, and once these dynamic scenarios pop up, you can kind of, you know, choose different ways. Now, you might want to kind of balance this out as different dynamic scenarios pop up so that way you don't fall off in certain areas. But, hey, man, depending on what position you are, you might want to have more coaching trust in that leadership category. Or, you know, you might not need that as much depending on what position you're playing or, you know, if you're an underclassman at a bigger school where you're buried on the depth chart. Or you might, you know, some scenarios later on, once you're actually a junior or senior, you might want to, you know, go do that extra stuff with your teammates so that way you make sure you dial in that chemistry if you got a big rivalry game coming up, stuff like that. So I think this will definitely be really cool. Again, another thing we'll have to test out and see how it works once we actually get the game, but I think there's going to be a lot of different cool things that pop up with this 
And depending on, like I said, man, what kind of career path you have, there's so many different ways that you could go with stuff like this. I really hope that it's executed well, and I'm sure it will be, man, so I'm, I'm excited for stuff like this. Here for the game day section, it says all the things you do during the week will impact your on-the-field game as well on game day, which, of course, you know, that makes sense. So your mental and physical attributes will, you know, get some boost uh, in the game and from your brand deals and different things that you decide to do throughout the week, you'll, you know, be able to trigger those differently or they might, you know, have different boosts some weeks than others where it might be, you know, plus one, plus two one week where it might be plus three, plus four another week if you, you know, focus on certain different areas. And then your coaching trust will determine play calling options and for quarterbacks, whether you can hot route or audible. So if you're not a quarterback, you're not going to be able to hot route or audible. But I think you'll still have the different play calling options. If you remember back in the day, as you built your coach trust, you would be able to unlock what they called extra plays. And depending on what level you were at, you would be able to either, I think, have it like, you know, three times a game, five times a game, or I think maybe even up to seven or ten times a game. But there's like different tiers to how many times you could actually trigger that extra play call screen. Now, like I said, man, if, if you're a quarterback, you'll have a lot more freedom. But as other positions, you should be able to have, you know, a few different play calling options as, you know, you build that coach trust. But early on, you'll probably just be like given a play and that's the play you got to run, which fine by me, man. That's how it should work. Your health will also impact play calling. A banged up QB won't get options called, for example. And if you have piled up wear and tear and not done what's needed to get it down during the week, you'll be at risk of injury and have diminished stats. So yeah, all this stuff ties into like the wear and tear and whatnot. Of course, you know, this makes sense. So again, I'll talk more on these abilities in the video later in the week and whatnot. We still don't have like a whole ton of information on the abilities. I mean, we have a good amount. Of like what we have as far as you know some of the ability names and stuff but necessarily you know how they all work and everything but i'm sure you know we'll figure it out once we get the game and who knows maybe they'll do a more of a deeper dive as well in the coming weeks so i mentioned transferring for a sec earlier we'll dive more into that now and just quickly first to the red shirting thing i mentioned that last time too though you'll be able to It'll automatically trigger it if you play in four or less games in a season. But you won't be able to just automatically ask for a red shirt by any means. But technically you could tank practices and games, it says here, to drop out of a position battle if you really wanted to do so. So like I said, man, depending on what kind of career you're going for, you could you know, find all sorts of ways to get kicked out of the school that you're at. You could you know, lose position battles, you could not go to class. Who knows? Yeah, I mean, you could make a complete shitbird out there if you wanted to, man. But yeah, either way, if you know you end up buried on the depth chart for your first year, don't worry. You'll still have four years of eligibility after that to play. You know, at your favorite school or whatever the case may be. You probably won't be redshirting if you end up, you know, as a higher star recruit at a smaller school. Like if you do a four star at a small school, you're probably not gonna be redshirting, man. But if you did a two star, then I guess that option could still be there depending on what you do but yeah i just wanted to mention that real quick before we go into the transfer portal so we'll just go ahead and read through it real quick the transfer portal will be available to you every off season like in real life and will work like recruiting did in the beginning when you picked your first team so like again it'll go back to like what you said that was important to you at the beginning based off the sales pitches for recruiting and you'll get that list again and then it says you'll get offers from teams that fit your preferences. I really enjoyed that one example they showed was a guy that really cares about academics. So his top school is Vandy. That's great. And you got to give the Commodore some love. If you do this in a video game, God bless you. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, the coaching carousel will also be happening in this off season. So your coach might leave, which impacts coach trust with the new guy coming in. And you might choose to follow your old coach to his new school. So that's another big factor there that I didn't even think about when they, you know, first talked about transferring being a thing was that your your coach might leave, man. So if that happens and if that affects your coach trust, if they bring in a new guy where you might not have many points accrued, you might want to go with the guy where you already, you know, unlocked all those special abilities and other stuff. So that's something that you'll have to look at. 
keep an eye on that in the off seasons. Make sure that your coaches aren't on the move because if they are, you might want to follow them. Or who knows, you might just want to go to a whole new different school or maybe you trust the new guy that's coming in. I don't know, man. There's so many different ways this stuff could go. I just hope that it's not too insane. I hope it's not like the coaches are just bouncing around every other year to where it makes the coach trust broken. Because, you know, of course there's some guys out there that are going to want to, you know, be true to their one school and just go there for their four or five years and that's that. But that'll be tough to do if you're constantly having your coaches change and whatnot. So, I don't know. Hopefully it's just not something that's broken as long as it's not too overdone which I'm sure they did a good job with it man I'm, I'm confident that it'll go well but again this opens up so many different opportunities for series that you could do well I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to go over from the article man just diving into more of the details that we have from Road to Glory so far and like I said man in the coming weeks I'm sure we'll get another video from EA that'll go over the you know each specific uh, game mode and whatnot so I'm sure we'll get a Road to Glory one It'll be nice to see because I know a lot of emphasis has been on Dynasty so far. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. But I'm sure we'll, you know, find out some more details as we, you know, get closer to July. I know I mentioned earlier that I would, you know, kind of talk series ideas. And I'm not really going to go too deep. I kind of was, you know, just brainstorming along the way as we went over different things in, you know, this article. Which I will link in the description if you want to go read it yourself, man. But yeah, just some different ideas and whatnot i will tell you that you know my main two i like i already have my main two uh ideas for road to glory first one will be a running back second one will be a receiver and the first one the running back will probably be you know i'll I'll try to dive into that like right away and the receiver i'll probably wait a couple weeks to get into that and then after that we'll probably wait until we finish those to do any more but we'll definitely dive into you know, possibly a quarterback in the future and maybe even get to the defensive side of the ball. And yeah, man, there's so many different opportunities in Road to Glory now. And, you know, even without the high school, like I said, man, we'll find so many ways to have fun with this mode. And like I said, with Dynasty, there's a lot going on there as well. I will dive deeper into that next weekend. So be on the lookout for that. And then also I'll be talking more on the abilities and whatnot in another video sometime this week, man. So be on the lookout, hit the subscribe button as I will be having more news and thoughts and breakdowns on all this stuff coming soon. And yeah, man, I'm just so excited for this game. Hope you are too. Slap that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And that'll do it for me, man. Have a nice day. Peace.